I love the Tesla bot. Optimus is by far one of the most advanced robots out there, and let me tell you why. I think it's miles ahead of its other competitors, and especially Tesla has a huge priority for Optimus to have some of the best and most innovative fingers out there. I mean, when we talk about robot fingers, you always think of them as very clunky, very unstable, and now Optimus could be picking up eggs with ease while breaking them. And what's better is Musk even says that he wants Optimus to start knitting clothes and other stuff in the near future, which is probably this year, guys, when he says near future. Check out this tweet here from a Twitter user. The head of engineering of Tesla Bot says they've improved their walking speeds. There's no falls, it's faster, it's more human-like, not quite the same level as the Honda robot back in 2018, but still it's very exciting. The speed of the Tesla Bot's advancement is faster than anything I've ever seen. It really did go from a hunk of metal in somebody's basement of the R&D section to like something that's very nice, very fluid. You got very good neck movements and just the neck movements, the arm movements and the finger movements alone feels like an actual human. The walking speeds are faster, the bot seems a lot cleaner and it's very, very sleek. There's also a very advanced neural net and Tesla is already implementing advanced AI systems into the robot so it can actually learn itself which is cool and frightening at the same time. Now, how are Tesla's biggest competitors doing? Well, if you check out this robot, which is Digit, this is from Agility Robotics. And this is a very impressive robot as well. You obviously see that it's mostly made for the workforce. It's also somewhat of a humanoid robot, but also a little bit different. You don't really see any sort of advancements with fingers. So these types of robots will most likely be doing very simple tasks. I mean, shelving, boxes, these are all big logistic jobs that right now humans are working on. So can you imagine if you own like a small warehouse, you know, you're not gonna be having the same mass of robotic capabilities as the Amazon warehouses, but just buying some of these digit robots will actually help your factory do really, really well. But you kind of tell that the digit human robot mostly does like very mundane, very simple tasks. If you want them to do anything like cook for you or clean for you or do anything that's finger related, it's gonna be pretty difficult to see that. And there's also another robot, which is from Figure. This is also another extremely impressive robot. Development was just 18-ish months, 12 months around that area. And they've already made a walking human robot with fingers. But you could kind of see that it's very clunky. It's kind of similar to the Tesla bot, but at the same time, it's also very far away. You do have different sensors. And the fingers are not advanced at all. It's very different from what Tesla is making. And like I said, Tesla seems miles ahead of its competition. And even the Boston Dynamics CEO and lead is kind of scared about what Tesla has in store because what Tesla is making and their robots are extremely impressive. And if you also check out GR1's robot, this is from a Chinese company. Don't get me wrong, all these robots are impressive, but you do see some flaws. I mean, the walking speeds aren't really that great. They're not really that fluid. You don't really see that powerful AI system. You don't see a neural net. And also, more importantly, the fingers, I wanna emphasize, are not as advanced as the one on the Tesla bot. And it makes sense, right? I mean, Tesla, $800 billion company, their credit lines and the amount of money they have is massive. And anyone who has a little bit of talent gets hired in and they pretty much have some of the most talented people working on the Tesla bot. And I think the Tesla bot is definitely thriving and gonna be becoming a massive stable in manufacturing. And Tesla has said multiple times that they want Tesla to start working in the gigafactories alongside of humans. And if that's successful, they will advance the robot, sell it to other commercial properties and other commercial companies out there. And eventually, they'll sell it to everyday people like you and me, you know, the average consumer. And Elon Musk has said that he wants robots and humans to have a one-to-one -one ratio. I believe that's a fantastic thing to have. You know, it wouldn't even be nice you go home. You know, you're tired, you're cranky, your Tesla bot's there. It already cooked you a meal, it grabs your work bag, and it pretty much cleans the house for you. At the same time, it provides adequate entertainment. It could tutor you, help you on work. I think the Tesla bot will be a massive companion for humans. And even Morgan Stanley has said that it's gonna be disrupting the massive workforce, which is a $30 trillion market that Tesla is gonna be disrupting. I think Tesla has a lot of cool innovative stuff with the Tesla bot and more things to come.